Okay. <laughs> so cool. Oh my god. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Silent Hills. Night Springs. Closed case. There's no closing the door on past sins. Now it's Casey film based on the novels by Alan Wake. In between with Mr. Door. The call was for me. It was something important. I needed to answer. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. turns us back around that is cool hard-boiled and hungover hard case an Alex Casey film all righty pay phone time what is this the oh dear diner the bright falls diner that's where There are enemies around. Majestic Vista Travel. This is amazing. Don't write. Return scratch. Oh. Goody stuff. Oh my Fuck. god. Okay, don't mind me, just passing through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there, but there was no one. I wanted to keep it that way. All right, let's pick up the phone. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Hmm. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know <coughs> you? I, I know you from somewhere. You just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> huh. AC initiation two. Okay. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. I wonder who that was who was speaking. It didn't sound like Dylan. It didn't sound like any of the characters from Control. Oh my God, the lighting is incredible. I man, it just looks incredible. Amazing. This is buck wild. Let's look down there. So I think 
the lit up areas are stable, but then if we walk into the unlit areas, that's when things get a little hazy and weird. What are these places? Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gone down this place. That was fascinating. Uh, let's go check out the park before we move forward then. Uh, oh my god, this game is <laughs> so interesting. I wanted to check out like over here and stuff before we move forward. This is such a huge world. Sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. Gotcha. So that is what we need to do. So now we're having to find the light, I guess. Just looking around for, like, collectibles and stuff. I cannot believe this game is doing the things that it's doing already. This is like genuinely one of the most interesting things I've played in a very long time. Night Springs, new season coming soon. I love these environments. I could just walk around them for hours, which would make, I'm sure, very riveting Let's Play content. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't miss any of the lore. I want to explain it to all the you nice people. Hmm. Can't go this way. Okay, so I didn't miss much. I, I probably just needed to go down that alleyway, but... I mean, I figure I need to go down that alleyway. I triggered a cutscene, but... <laughs> Listen, we're just being thorough. This is so amazing looking. I can't wait to watch Brewing play this on our big TV. If playing this on an OLED will be really nice. Unfortunately, it won't be 21.9, but you win some, you lose some. Good old Max Payne alleyway right here. So again, that's the cult of the tree, but it's also an, an, a symbol that appears multiple times in control. AWE, altered world event. Dying in this alley in a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know? You know. You don't really want to know. You're going to get what's coming to you. Hmm. 
There we go. That's the good stuff. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. in darkness now, lest the shadows block my way. Use the light to open the subway entrance now. Did I actually check down here? I think I did, right? That was startling. Hearing their voices, it's, it's directional in my headphones. down here. Anything good? Can't go that way. The Coffee world. Real. I was limited to the confines of the dream. There we go. This is this is what I'm looking for. I want a goodies. Give me them goodies. We're back to the gameplay of the first game, basically. Aldera Street Station. Another light to go deeper inside. That's messed up. Uh, this is so. This is what Nightingale was talking about, wasn't he? We need to find another light to get deeper inside. We can do that. Maybe over here. This is gonna be a combat encounter when we get over here though. That's a pretty bright light. I needed to find a way around that fence. Yep. Okay. I didn't even see you. There was something hidden here. Like what a phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? Oh, interesting. So we have words of power now. This is pretty good. Ooh, this is really good. Provides 25% chance to regain a flashlight charge on killing an enemy. Holy smokes. Hmm. 
And we can just trade these in. So he levels up faster than Saga does. Interesting. Okay. So let's begin working on how we get around that fence, shall we? How do we do this? It could not be opened on this side. We're gonna need to go around, so... Maybe I can light up this area. Ooh, Ooh another toolbox. Yay. It's got some beer in it. It was locked from the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna need to turn on this light. So we'll steal this one. I think. And I would put it here, but let's check over here just to make sure that we can't power up these lamps get a different layout I don't think so yeah it's not over here okay cool so we clean up this mess and then go up here that's fascinating stuff hmm Come on, Alan. You can step over that little gap. Come on, dude. I believe in you. In between with Mr. Door. I'm pretty sure Mr. Door is referenced in Control. I'm pretty sure Dylan mentions meeting him. I think he's one of the people that Dylan dreams about when he encounters the Hiss. But if I remember correctly, Dylan didn't like Mr. Door because Mr. Door didn't let him... Didn't let him take the hiss with him or something. I think that's what it is. What is coming up here do for me? I had written books about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. Rain tried to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins, the evidence of the crimes committed, could never be erased. Not by the rain, or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained bruises under my skin, like tattoos, bruises in my soul, <laughs> scar tissue on my heart. The That's rain so cool. never stopped falling, and I never stopped drinking. Wake. That's wild. We had to burn that thing away. What is this saying? Oh, it's right here. Words of lamp. 
Did I get a new one? The map. Where's the power? No, it's not letting me access it. I have to do it from like right here. Nope. Why won't it give me the lamp words? Do I need to be further up? Is that what it is? Yeah, I probably have to be up here. No. Bolt of the word. There we go. That gave me the word of power. That was weird that I had to be up here for that. When I could see them perfectly fine before. Alright. This is awesome. <laughs> this is just the coolest shit ever. Let's go check out that other lit up area. Huh? Hello. Oh. Oh. Hey, Alan. You stuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Orland Dorr. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. Uh, Corp Pahiri says, is that Quantum Breakman? This character is played by um, Sean Ashmore, but it's not him. It's not the same character from Quantum Break. You're making a map. Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Uh, Corby here says, like Casey is to Max Payne or whatever. I don't think it's well, that close. Like crazy I'm just trying to make sense of things. Remember, okay. I was at... I'll trade you walls any day. Uh -huh. I was at the morgue. I was about to give the ev evidence to the FBI. Door transported me here to this dream reality. Why? Who, where, why motive, why me? The red-headed woman. <gasps> That is, uh, interesting. Facts. Missing time, no memory. Until now, how have I always ended up here? Will I forget when I get out? Abducted. Aliens, door. UFOs, polyhedrons. Uh, that's references to control. Dreams, me but not me. Others I know, yet they are different. The red-headed woman. Um, the red-headed woman is a reference to Jesse Faden in Control, but it also might be a reference to Quantum Break. So it says the me that is not me that might be the main character of Quantum Break uh, because it's, they're both played by uh, t Sean Ashmore. But then also, um, <clears throat> I can't remember her name. It might be Courtney Hope. That might be it. Um, the person who plays Jesse Faden, the director in Control, the main character of that game, is also... Um, a main character in Quantum Break. So the red-headed woman. Others I know, yet they are different. The red-headed woman. So yeah, maybe this is a reference. Maybe he is somewhat of a reference to the Quantum Break character. It's neat.
That's cool that we could meet him there. Wasn't there another doorway that I wanted to go through that I just totally missed? It was like down there. Yeah. Yeah, it was right here. Why can't I walk in through this door? It, why can't I get in? There's a, there's a save cup there. Why is this in the way? What the heck? It's really annoying. What's up with that? Is it meant to be like this? doesn't seem right it doesn't seem like it's supposed to be like this it seems like I'm supposed to be able to get in here but like the game glitched out or something maybe steal the light I can't steal this light this is a save room light so we'll have to see yeah that's weird that's that just seems like the environment loaded incorrectly So I guess I just don't go get get to go in there. Maybe I have to like deload the environment or something. I think it auto saves every single time I enter that room anyway, so. Oh, this is the the back of that area. Got it. So yeah, maybe we can do this. Yoink. Let's head back there and see if we can edit anything. Find Alice. Yeah, this is weird. I can't I can't tell why that's doing that. Cause that's like absolutely an area I'm supposed to be able to get into. bizarre but look there's like a there's a thingy in there I want to get in there I want to I also want to save my game <laughs> why won't you let me yeah and it doesn't really seem like there's anything in the environment for me to interact with uh, 18 minutes ago yeah that's really bad I really wish I had access to that save room Let's try going up, maybe, and we can see if we can interact with stuff. Oh. What the? What the? What the? I'm out of bounds. How in the world did this happen? Oh, no. Yikes. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, no. Well, <laughs> crap. Ah, that sucks. All right, well, we're gonna need to get back here. Yeesh. Well, speedrunners who are watching, we can clip this. Here you go, here's an out of bounds skip for you. All right, so.
so um, for those of you watching on the VOD, I, it will have just cut to being inside this room. It does turn out that we were supposed to be able to go in here. Um, but it seems like when we loaded in the environment, our player model or our collision model or whatever of us and parts of the environment were shifted slightly to the left. So when we came over here and tried to climb up that ladder, we fell off the side of it and that's what allowed us to get out of bounds, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we're able to get that one, I think. Yeah. We're able to get this one right here now because our player model isn't shifted out of the way, which is why we actually, why we went up there in the first place. We didn't actually need to go all the way up there just to get that. Um, we were supposed to be able to get it right there. Let's go up here and, and get his dialogue done. Was it worth the risk to go see who? Hello. Oh, hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. I already pick up all that stuff? Nice. Okay. Dark place map. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. Warland door. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah. We... You're making a map. And just skip through all this. Hard just get it done as if. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. There we go. All right, bye, Ashmore. All right, we should be able now to climb back up that ladder and get that echo point without it breaking us out of bounds, <laughs> which would be a good thing, all things considered. This one's an enemy, I think, or could be. All right. We have that echo point up there. And we got to match it with this dark spot. The city was a monster. Boys tear into you the second you let your guard down. You thought you had it tamed. But you knew what the hell you were doing. Your last mistake. Unless you got lucky. And you didn't deserve to get lucky. You blinked at the wrong time, let your mind wander. And the fire escape that was meant to be your getaway route was gone. It was never there at all. You'd gotten turned around somewhere along the way. The city was coming to finish you off, and there was nowhere left to run. Nice. Okay, that's kind of cool. We should be able to just move forward now. Progress at last. Uh, before we do that, we check around. I also forgot to open the shortcut, I think, so we'll want to go back and do that in a minute. It's over here. This map is so just expansive. Like, there's just so much stuff. That's not what I'm looking for. Give me my words. Words of war. Okay. We'll level him up in a minute. This is fascinating stuff. This is a fascinating video game. It seems pretty expansive. Like, it seems really large. With all these systems and stuff that it's developed. Oh, 
Oh god. I'm gonna go back through here so that we can unlock this gate. And get this. Which has nothing in it. Great. Good for us. All right, let's run back to the subway. All right, oh, so our lamp can hold multiple charges at once. That's cool. This is a really interesting feature. I really, li I think one of the big benefits this game has over the first Alan Wake is that the first Alan Wake, um, there's a lot of like, for lack of a better word, like plot that goes into justifying all of the like various things that Alan can do. And it's like, okay, you know, here's the, here's the clicker and here's the flashlight and the flashlight has power and the clicker has power. And this is how these things work. Um, and this one is very much like, nope, you find a magical lantern and that's all you need to know. It's a weird thing. It's a weird thing that this exists. We're not going to question it. And it's just so, so much better. Don't sleep again. Stand Av. Sleep Street and again Av. But still, don't sleep again. In entry stop writing wake boulevard. Stop writing, <laughs> stop writing, writing wake. That's good. The gates good. to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. All right, subway pass. This game kicks so much ass. Aldera Station. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing. Presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. All right. You discovered your first plot element from an echo. You can rewrite it into reality on the plot board. Oh, no so yeah. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. All right. Select FBI agent plot. Things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. Okay. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. Oh, oh this game is giving me chills. I'm just like, I'm having, I'm having a moment just sitting here. Like, I love the way that it talks about like writing, right? It's like, you need to find things that are significant. Um, you need to find things that ring true in order to, to like make the story respond to you. And it's like, it is true. Like sometimes you just walk into a place in that the idea of that place exists for you fully formed. Um, and yeah, I think that's what this is like getting at is like that, that idea of like, of a, uh, uh, you know, you, you have to write around ideas, the, the places, the characters, the people that you meet in stories aren't real people. They're concepts of people. And knowing how to identify what is important about them and, and, and boost that is like what makes writing really good. And it's how you like write really compelling fiction. So this is just so, so interesting. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. No exit, exit at the middle of the platform. 
Oh, we need to find a way to get the words in frame. How do we do this? Nope. Word of gun found. Nice. Let's level this up. Isn't that how the first game began with that quote? I think so. Increase flare gun projectiles, knock back force of Alan's shotgun, not consume ammo when firing the revolver. That's really good. Knock back force of Alan's shotgun is pretty good too. What do, what are we thinking? What do we want to what do we want to use for our word of gun? I'll leave it up to chat. You guys can determine how I play. You want shotgun? Do you want roulette, personal space or sunny skies? Typically in video games, I don't normally play with the shotgun, uh, so uh, that's interesting. Roulette, 5% chance roulette seems useful. Let's go with that one. There we go. In a survival horror game, having access to bullets is really powerful. All right, full stop. Increases damage dealt by the last bullet in revolver's chamber by 25%. That's nuts. Increases double barreled shotgun damage by 25% when hitting multiple enemies with one shot. Goes around, restores 15% of max health when landing a direct hit with a hit flare gun. Okay, that seems crazy. Um, what do we think? What do we what do we want? Goes around, full stop, or paint the town. First person to put it in chat will get get what they want. Kettle says, I'd go with goes around. Same. We don't have flare gun ammo yet, but it seems like it will be really beneficial when we get it. All right, in words of lamp, uh, which one of these do we want? Main attraction, restores 5% of max health when using flashlight boost on hostile shadows. That's really minor, but that might be useful because we do it a lot. In the headlights, provides 10% chance to stun enemies on flashlight boost. This one is gonna be the one that I think is best. Lucky Strike provides 25% chance to regain a flashlight charge on killing an enemy. So these two are the ones that I think are probably the most important if I had to pick one right now. Uh, so pick between them all. Uh, it would it, That would be the best. Krim, Krim asks, is this the Black Sad Mind Palace? Yes, it is. So this in this game, you have a... Uh, this is like your inventory, your map, all of that stuff. It exists in this Mind Palace. Um, but in a more interesting way. I think I'm going to use Lucky Strike, actually, just because having flashlight light charge on killing enemies is really useful. That makes getting batteries less... That's a st stricter economy. So, yeah, you have a, uh, you have a memory palace where you can review, review stuff. Um, you can look at your, your plot board to examine all the different aspects. I guess I haven't read this part yet. I had to find my way to the station. The lamp would make it emerge. I met Casey. He was in this story. This was his city. He talked about a manuscript. It had to be my writing. Casey was killed by the dark presence. I had assumed his role. Every writer is a detective finding the story. The dark caldera. Some of the places felt significant here. Had I written them into being? I'd used them as scenes in my story. The station platform was a threshold to be crossed. I saw a vision, an echo of forgotten ideas about a Casey story. A glimpse into another reality, a plot element for this story to travel deeper. The narrative I wrote to find my way, Casey looking for a missing FBI agent, the agent on the trail of a murder cult, the cult of the word. So again, that's the story that's, that Saga is dealing with. Subway, undiscovered map, we're gonna need to grab that. Is there an, uh, there's a, there's a point of interest, shoe box, break room, okay, oh, this is Tim's point of interest. Okay, and this is just how we have... Oh, there's a Poe song. That's interesting. Uh, that's really interesting, given that Control is so so tightly influenced by House of Leaves. House of Leaves was written by Poe's brother, Mark Z. Danielewski. And there's even a album. Uh, the, the album Haunted by Poe is directly tied to House of Leaves. It's like a concept album uh, that's very similar to it. The 
the Fed had glimpsed into the Maw of Darkness, it swallowed him whole. So yeah, Alan's responsible for Nightingale. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. I shouldn't be wasting flashlight charge on those, but I just want to be able to come down here and see if there was anything there. And I guess avoid them spawning if they spawn. All right, inward. I like that he's startled too. I don't like the sound of that. Hmm. So what we don't understand in this um in the context of this setting, not to go to pontificate on control or not, is that it, the dark place, this this area, could be its own dimension, right? Or it could be a branch dimension, like connected to all of the other worlds, just through everything. Or it could just be a physical place with a different name that we know from control or from quantum break and Alan is just trapped there and just calls it the dark place because he doesn't know what it's actually called. Um, and that, so that's what I mean when I keep saying this place might be a part of the oldest house. Uh, there's gonna be a boss fight coming up. That's what happens when they give you a bunch of resources. There's a boss fight. Um, Cause we keep seeing all these symbols and we know the, the, the cult of the word uses symbols that, that have been associated with control, but also I mentioned a while ago that the, uh, there we go, that the cult of the word in the very beginning of the game call, says, uh, refers to themselves as um, the cult of the tree. And playing control, you learn that another name for the oldest house is Yggdrasil. Um, er, and that it ha its foundations are its roots. So, it's very possible that this cult is worshipping a place connected to the oldest house, which would be the dark place. Uh, so... The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Alright, this place needs a light. Hmm. 